Hi, this is Nick Garner for Sports Talk for Kids, and I'm here with USC quarterback Matt Barkley. After turning down a chance to go pro into the NFL, what needs to happen this season for you to justify your decision? I think at this point in the season, uh, you know, our goals kind of remain the same of, of winning out and, and finishing this, this season on, on a great note and uh, winning every single game that we get to play because we only have uh, so many more, only a handful left. And so I think if we win out at this point, I'll be, uh, I'll be, I'll be happy with the season. I know you're a deep believer in God, like another star quarterback, Tim Tebow. He's very outgoing with his beliefs, whether through Tebowing or just how he talks. Yeah. You're a little bit more private with it. How do you show your beliefs, and how does that make you a better football player in person? Yeah, well, the people that know me know uh, I'm not ashamed about my faith or anything like that, and uh, it's not something that I try to impose on people. Um, you know, if there's a time for evangelism, then I'll, I'll go for it. But um, I know there's a time and a place for everything, and. As a football player, uh, you know people want to see that football player, and, and I know you also have a platform to you know to share that uh, that gospel. And so, uh, when the time's right, uh, you know you got to take it. Can you tell us a little bit about the program that you started in high school, uh, Monarchs for Marines? Yeah, Monarchs for Marines was a cool deal. Uh, and my family and I kind of helped start it down at Camp Pendleton. Uh, the uh, Marine base down there with the 1st Marine Division where we went down with our entire football team and a ton of volunteers, our entire cheer squad, uh, put on a camp, a football camp for the kids, uh, the families down there. Uh, the cheerleaders put on a camp for the girls and everything. We did some cleanup uh, at a community center and kind of just spent some time with them and um, honored them. Uh, actually brought them up to a game, 500, we bust 500 Marines up uh, to Angel Stadium where the Angels play. and. Uh, and that was a game with 26,000 people where we honored them. And so um, it was cool relationships uh, to build down there with guys, you know, who serve our country so well. What's been the greatest moment in your football career so far? Greatest moment? I don't know. I'd say uh, probably last year, either the winning the game at uh, in Autzen, uh, just in that crazy atmosphere in that stadium, uh, or 50-0. to zero. Uh, UCLA is always good. It's always good to beat those guys. If you had the choice of who you are going to get drafted by, who would it be? I wish I had a choice, you know, it's, unfortunately it's not that easy, so, you know, as long as I'm making money playing this game that I love, uh, then I'll be perfectly fine with that. As the projected number one pick, you're likely to go to a not so great team. How are you playing to get that team from essentially the bottom all the way up to the top? Well, you've seen quarterbacks do it, and obviously it's not an instant fix, it takes time, so, uh, you know, that's where leadership comes in and rallying the troops and making sure guys are on board and, uh, you know, know what to do. and. You just got to be patient sometimes and, and know that you know it'll all plan out, but you got to have a plan to, uh, to get everyone on board. Well, thank you for your time. Good luck the rest of the season and in the F NFL. Thank you, Nick. This is Nick Garner for Sports Talk for Kids. Hey, kids, let's talk sports. Thank you very much. Awesome. Good thank job. you. Thank you. See you next time, all right? Hey, how are you? Good to see you again. Hey, nice to see you again. We're going to talk about. Oh, a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. All right.